Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here, and I am excited to announce that I got the brand new update, which is the 2020 6.1 update. It's got a lot of great features in it. I'm gonna go over all those. I got a video already started, but right now I just wanted to go in an in-depth review of this backup camera system that they've implemented in here, and I wanna show you what that does. So if you guys are ready, what we're gonna do is we're going to actually look at it uh, right now I'm going to put the car in reverse so that you guys can see what pops up. By default, it's going to pop up like this, and you're going to see a little nudge down here that allows you to touch that to bring up your two uh, cameras that are on the uh, front fender up there on each side. So it offers a really good view. However, what I'm looking at inside here when we're looking at the the range of this video or this, this uh, view is that you're going to see that this top camera gives a better view when you're parked up next to a car like this one. And the reason why that is is because it's the location. It's using those those side cameras like that instead of like the, the B-frame or the B-pillar, this right here, which would give an optimal view. Ultimately, it would be nice if they had cameras all the way in the back that looked off to the sides like that to give a real true 360 degree view of you would have uh, of, of the back of your car essentially. So if you want to get rid of that, you can do two ways. You can tap that right there and bring it down or also swipe down just a little bit and swipe up. That's where that's going to work. Now, great news. This works while you're driving. I mean, it does. So we're going to, we're in reverse. We're going to go take a cruise with it and see, and you can see there, once I back up and clear that car, we'll put that up so you guys can see it. But once I back up and clear that car, the two cameras on the sides do offer a lot wider of range than this single camera in the, in the top here. And that's great, but as I was mentioning, when backing, you really lose that view uh, when there's a car next to you. So once we clear traffic here, we're gonna get out here and show you what it looks like on the road. Now, there are blinkers in here, so I wonder what that does when you turn the blinker on. It does blind it a little bit. And let's see this one, same thing. So there's a little bit of blinding, if you will, on that there, but not too bad. It looks really good and smooth. Now, the camera quality at night hasn't improved that I can tell really, but it doesn't look bad. So we're looking at this screen right here live. These two cameras definitely have a wider range of, uh, uh, of like gamut, I think it's called. They're just, they have a better exposure uh, versus this one right here. But when I, well, the brakes are already on, but when I tap on the brakes, uh, usually, I used to see it light up a bit better over there. So, now the great thing about this is, is like I said, you can see more. See how I can't see this car next to me? So this car is literally right here. It clearly captures the blind spot, 100% right here. We can now see blind spots. You can find out exactly where these cars are, and you're going to find yourself using this a lot while driving. Uh, I think. Now, hopefully, Tesla will give this option just to use these two while we're driving rather than the whole thing so it can, can condense it down or even bring this down into a triple stack right there so that you can uh, get that in a smaller view and still have your navigation up and still have that other stuff up that's imperative to get into you to where you need to go. And that's pretty much that. Now with this, I really think it's, it's an awesome update. This is super amazing to have. Uh, you're gonna be able to see so much more in here like I was mentioning with uh, the ability to, to see a better view. It adds probably 10 degrees on each side where this might be like 160 degree, uh, 60 degree view, you're actually going to see now uh, 10 degrees on each side getting to a full 180 degree view out the back of your car there. That's it. But for some reason, uh, let me see if I bring this down. Now, I was gonna say, I thought something happened here. I mean, it's not a bad view, but this seems like it is a bit dimmer than it was before. Uh, I'll try to check some of my footage out in, in another video here, but surely this one here, these are definitely brighter than that up there. So the exposure on these cameras are, are just a bit different. That looks phenomenal. I'm digging that. I really am. So, uh, And just a brief overview. Let's close that down for just a second. I don't think there's anything in the settings in here. So like we go into driving, there's really nothing in there about that. Uh, we still have all this, the typical stuff that you'd see there. But there's nothing in here that's showing uh, any settings or changes for the camera itself. So let's put that back on. And let me know in the comments what you think about it. By default, I think it stays up there as long as you don't close it down. Let's check it. I'm going to close it all the way down. Bring the camera back up. Yes, and it does. 
So here we are, we got another trailer next to us right over here. I can see the back of that car. I can see all the way up to the passenger side. Now that's a crew cab, but here, if he didn't have a trailer on it, I don't see him in the rear view camera, and now I do. Super sweet, super awesome. I'm stoked about that. So guys, I wanna have you guys check the rest of the video out here. Uh, if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, definitely do. I've got the full entire new update video coming out. I'll uh, probably have it out tomorrow sometime to show you guys, and just a sneak peek, we may see some other signs and markings as we get on the, this interstate here. So let's change lanes, some turn arrows, and a stop sign coming up, or stop light rather. And there's some new features in that with a stop light that are amazing. I'll try to put some release notes in there. Wow, that bicycle showed up quick. Saw him pedaling too, it looked like. So sneak peek. We don't have to hit the gear stock anymore when we have a green light. This bar is going to be green. All right, guys. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. See you next time. And as always, I'll be back.